All right, so that is a prime example of what I was warning people about, right, with social media and all that kind of stuff. Basketball has now become true blue war type stuff because you now have people saying, we are going to threaten your kids because we saw you injure Kawhi Leonard on that court. So your persona, as much as you wanted to keep it on the court, like a Mr. Billy Badass, old school term on the court, has now spilled over into social media. All it took is one or two tweets where it's like, yo, this dude has a history of doing A, B, C, and D. See, a long time ago when I warned people about their social media, they didn't understand what I was saying there. That's the prime example where you literally had to get more security for your kids. So I'm calling you on your stuff only because I'm like, now you sound like a spoiled brat. You know why you're having to sound like a spoiled brat? Because social media, which is something that you also enjoy to kind of put your persona out there, basically shot you in the butt. So this is the whole thing again, even when I was talking about politics and social media, social engineering, um, echo, all the, all this stuff that I kept warning people about where I'm like, it is drama out there. Now people are wondering, are you as hard or whatever as you claimed you were? Because now you say, I can't believe I had to get some extra security for my kids because of basketball. I warned you guys about this a long time ago. That's why I moved around some, from social media. Everything I did in the blogs where I'm like, hey, if you didn't read it here, that ain't me. If you didn't read it there, that's not me. Here, even when I do Instagram, if you see my Instagram anywhere else, pay no mind to it. I'm going to put it on my site so you know this is me saying, yes, I did post that. Now you fools getting hacked. And they are posting stuff you didn't even say. You're like, no, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. So you have all this stuff that I warned you about now happening where I'm like, now, this is why social media has become so dangerous. So you can sit there and say, it's not me. That was not me over and over again. You now recall why I said to some individual, get your butt off of social media. The only thing I ever say is right on this site. That is because I know technology. That is because even the most gullible people who did not know technology, you go, oh, social media is great. I'm like, you just wait till mofo start getting hacked and you start being uh, called out for some shit that you didn't even say, that they say that you said, and now you're like, no, that wasn't me. I got hacked. And now people can't even believe if you got hacked because they don't know if that's your excuse. So it's a hot mess. Remember before when I was schooling people about the technology and the beehive and folks were saying this and that, I'm like, you don't even know if so-and-so said that even more so. It's still America where it's free speech. But if somebody got hacked and they didn't even say it, you may be coming for somebody that didn't even say a certain thing. So all this drama from the politics on social media, I was like, this is going to be very interesting how it plays out. Now it comes full circle with this whole basketball thing where you have Mr. Macho saying, I cannot believe I had to get extra security for my kids. Why not? This is the world that people have created with social media. You want to have brands. You want to have labels. You want to have personas. You want to be Mr. Tough Guy on the court. And now it happens such that it's not just on TV. This is why I warned about with people having this whole labeling and the marketing stuff with the girlfriends. Remember, people, y'all don't get me when I'm saying, listen. You have these personas like Mr. Bad Boy. You have these girlfriends that are marketing bikinis and all that. You guys get so offended by it until you now have a situation where this guy's like, I had this tough guy persona on the court. I did not know it was going to find my children. That was the whole point even when I talked about social media with the girls. That was my whole point about the naked selfies. That was my whole point about the plastic surgery. It is effing people's minds up to where you and your mind are now like I can't believe they taking this outside to even my kids it's just basketball but to some people it's not just basketball what they saw on the court was this bully and they go well, you know what we are tired of being bullied so it's this very weird energy that I warned you guys about a long time ago I said you just wait and see how this stuff plays out that's why I moved my butt off of Facebook. I said, every little thing you say, even though people ha ha he he, it's not as ha ha he he when you go, shit, I had to get extra security. All because of a play in basketball. Yeah, that's called social media. Take care.